plastics are on the rise. FSM, along with its sister states in the Pacific region, have begun to address plastic waste because of its negative impacts on human health and the environment. In 2020, FSM passed a law prohibiting the importation of one-time use disposable styrofoam and plastic food service items and plastic shopping bags. The purpose of this law is to protect human health and the environment from harmful chemical substances that are emitted from the use of certain plastics. There are certain plastics that the general public is encouraged not to use as they cannot break down easily and pose a threat to the natural surroundings in the long run. Welcome! Today in the studio we have a special guest that will help educate the general public about the recent steps to minimize plastic waste. We would like to welcome Ms. Pedrus, who is a staff member under the Environment and Sustainable Development Division of the Department of Environment, Climate Change and Emergency Management, who will share some information with us on the law itself. Welcome, Ms. Pedrus. Thank you for sharing this information with us today. Now, can you please tell us what is this PL21-76 law about? Public Law 2176 is about the prohibition on the importation of one-time use disposable styrofoam and plastic food service items and plastic shopping bags. It was introduced by Senator Vernie Perman, who is one of our champion leaders on environment protection. Another champion leader is our President Panuelo, who has stated that this new ban on disposable plastic, which allows the importation of reusable and recycled plastic, shows that it is possible to be environmentally conscious while still retaining sensitivity to the conveniences appreciated by citizens and the business community. Thank you. So, tell us what the prohibited items are. To be more specific, the prohibited items, which can be found on pages 8 and 9 of the permanent regulation, include plastic cups, plastic straws, foam cups, foam plates, plastic food and service items such as forks, spoons, plates, etc. Of course, plastic shopping bags, styrofoam cups, plates, bowls, takeout trays, and see-through pack. So, why are we prohibiting these items? One-time use items uh, do not just pose an environmental threat to human health and the environment. Rather, they encourage us to constantly throw away. And the more we throw away, the more we pile. And sometimes, that can be hard to manage. Additionally, one-time use items cannot be recycled. In fact, it takes 100 years or more to decompose. And that is not good for our environment. So, what can the general public do to assist in the minimization of plastic waste? Our efforts at the state level center on promoting the three R's. The three R's stand for reduce, reuse, and recycle. The general public is encouraged to buy only what they need, use whatever they have uh, bought in another useful way, and of course, visit their recycling centers and know what can be recycled. On the whole, we must use products that can be used again. Well, thank you again, Ms. Pedrus. I truly hope that the people of the FSM will step up and help to keep the environment clean by following this law for themselves and for the future generations. This message has been provided to you by the Environment and Sustainable Development Division of the Department of Environment climate change, and emergency management.